Hello again, welcome to another video. In this series we're looking at um, all types of different cameras. Today we have another Kanika C35, but this time we have the AF version. Um, I've already made a video about the EF version. This is the AF version. And if you look at it, it says autofocus. Hmm, interesting. That's quite an interesting lens cap as well. It's different. You've got no chance that you're going to be taking a picture without removing the lens cap. Well, that's the idea behind that one. Let's take it out of its uh, LED case. Again, this camera was introduced in 1977, around about the same time as the, uh, the EF camera. So let's have a look at the front of it. Okay, it's got the pop-up flash. It has got 38 2.8 lens, uh, it's very similar, set the ISA, and this dial in the middle, there we go, it has 400 down to 25, so I've set it at uh, 200, big AF logo, some sort of rangefinder type arrangement at the top, and here it has a scale, and this shows you the distance. So it's quite hard to see, but there's an arrow on this. And when we start firing the shutter, you'll see it move, and it'll tell you the distance. So you don't have to zone focus. By zone focus, we mean kind of guess the distance or measure the distance. And then just set it on the front. So on the top here, we've got flash ready light. Crank rewind for the film, shutter release button, frame counter, wind on lever, and fairly quiet. And in the back, very similar to the ear uh, version. Again, use Kanika film, which you can't get anymore. Then we have the pressure plate, this one needs some work doing. Rubbers have deteriorated on this, so it needs to go to the workshop. On the bottom, it tells you about that. Do not use your car for dischargeable batteries. Okay. And we have a battery compartment on the bottom. And there are no batteries in it. We find some batteries. And then we'll have a shot with it. Just takes the standard double A batteries. So I'm going to rob some out of the flush gun. Right, which way around? The plus goes in first. Oh, it's got to be the other way around. Oh. Battery doors are rather flimsy on these. So there we have it. Right, wind on. Put the flash up, see if it gets ready to charge the foil. Taking its time, so I don't know if it's working or not. Um, maybe it thinks we don't need that. Oh, there we go. So I don't fire in the camera. Oh, it didn't fire in this. It probably decided it didn't need it. The interesting thing about this is that when you wind it on, this little indicator here will move when you take the picture. Oh, it flashed that time. You can see the way the arrow has moved up to here because it's worked out the distance. It's used as a passive system developed by Honeywell, and this was the world's first mass-produced autofocus camera. So its place in history is quite important, although they're not really collectible, and um, they don't really fetch very high prices, considering they were, as I say, the world's first mass-produced autofocus camera. It's something to do with a rangefinder type system. So when you re the shutter, you'll see this lever will move back down to the bottom. 
And when you fire the shutter, the lens moves. Oh, let me turn the flash off. That's a bit blinky. Sorry about that. But you can see the lens moves. It's moved backwards. It also sets the exposure automatically. Um, there's no shutter speed dial. There's no aperture dial. So you have no choice or no control over that. But it is an autofocus camera. And it tells you what the distance is. This is quite close. Whereas if I point it over this way, it goes almost to infinity, so the autofocus works. Interesting camera. Uh, very easy to use. A typical point and shoot. The range the viewfinder is clear, you don't really see anything in there apart from the frame. Very easy to use, very easy to load. Although this one obviously needs its uh, phone sorting out, which will get sorted out and we'll put a film through and just see what the results are like. But yeah, I thought you might be interested in that. The world's first <laughs> autofocus camera, considering everything nowadays from phones to DSLRs, everything's autofocus. This was the very first one back in 1977, produced in quite big numbers, fairly quiet, and you see the end of the end moving. Uh, I think there's an LED coming on there. Well, oh, yeah, so it needs flash. So, yeah, that's the Kanika C35AF. An easy to use, fairly cheap autofocus camera. Great point and shoot. And uh, I just love this lens cap. I think that's incredible. It's a great idea because you can't. Uh, you can't see through the viewfinder, so there's no way you're going to leave the lens cap on. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this edition. Subscribe to the channel for more of these sort of videos, because I've got hundreds of cameras yet to show you. Thank you very much for watching. Comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next one.